this is <laughs> Julian Cynthia coming to you live from the Gen X Photography Podcast. We're the ground crew. AKA the photography fools. We are on a mission. The Gen X Photography Podcast is preparing to interview Dave Mahali. And he has some videos on YouTube about searching through thrift shops for awesome camera gear. So we're taking inspiration from that. And we are heading off on an adventure today to try to find some thrift shops we haven't been to before um, that might have some cool stuff. So we'll we be will back with see what you we find. For you guys, one second for us. Miles and miles. <laughs> An hour. Or more than that. But okay. see you then. We've arrived on location of our first stop. Mm -hmm. We're going to go. It's raining. There's We're going to go. We're going to go. Yes. Oh, they actually drink. We're going to go see if we can find any sweet deals. In the spirit of Dave Mahali, this is those camera girls. <laughs> <laughs> that was a major fail. You have to call ahead to get things out because people steal there. So we had to call ahead apparently. We didn't know that. Call ahead to a secondhand shop. Odd. But. I don't think we will. That um, wasn't our cup of tea. But. Speaking of tea, I would like a drink. I would like food. So we're going to, we're going to press on and try to find another place that maybe be more promising. And I'm going to watch Garfield because I want to. <laughs> Signing off again. Goodbye. So we just finished at our second stop. They did have a digital video camera and two digital cameras, but no film. Um, so we struck out again, except for, I got this for $2.99. And this may not look film related, but this is what Joe Van Cleve develops in. And since he's one of my heroes, I was like, why, yes, I'll take a Joe Van Cleve developing unit. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that was a major score, $2.99. I so that I can be like Joe. And to be like you, Dave Mahali, they had not one, not two, not three, but five slide carousel holders. And I checked every one to see if there were any slides in them. Unfortunately, they were not. But thank you for that pro tip from your video. I did check. I don't have any slides of my own, so I didn't feel the need to get one. But they were all $2.99 each, equally priced. So. And I got candle making stuff. Yeah. I got wax for candles because... We found something to yeah. be like a consolation prize. <laughs> um, we're going to see if we can make it to one more place before they close. But I want a snack. <laughs> and we'll find food. <laughs> so our last place was a bust as well. We did get a dog leash. So we have a dog, so that's something. Maybe we will photograph the dog with the leash at some, some point. But as a consolation prize, we now have fries and Large milkshakes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We got no cameras, but we did get shakes. And we never do that. Yeah. Except for now. So <laughs> it's a win. So we shall try again another day. The only reason I come... With my mom, it's just to get this. Just getting now. <laughs> we'll try again another day, and we'll try a different town. Because the two towns we went to today, they didn't have what we were hoping for. All right, signing off from these old camera girls, the ground crew for Gen X Photography Podcast, although neither of us are Gen Xers. We are way too young for that. It is day two of shopping with Dave. Are you ready? Um, one question. There's only the two of us as my one question, but still, 
I'm ready. Oh, well, Dave's in Ohio. <laughs> He's so. in Ohio and we're in Vermont, so. We're um, shopping with you, Dave Mahali, in spirit. We are on the thrift yeah. shop hunt day two. We did not find anything but a Joe Van Cleave developing unit yesterday. We are trying some new towns today mm -hmm. in hopes of finding a film something. Anything film. Anything. And hopefully a camera. They also, I'm really hoping that it actually has film in it. Somebody that would film. be cool. That would be really cool. Although if we open it and flash it, we, that would be sad. Anyway. Ah, well, yeah. we are on our way into store number one, Different. and we shall see if there's anything here. We have gotten a broken Kodak pony here before mm -hmm. in a non functional Polaroid camera. So, and we got a couple other cameras. You got your um, oh, I yes, we got yeah, a working one. brownie flash, mm -hmm. brownie holiday flash, and a working Kodak <laughs> reflex synchro. So, but it was really mixed not results fine. here. It was really not good because okay. there was a brown. There was so we're brownies. gonna go and check this out. <laughs> it's a quick stop. In and out. We're done. There was nothing. On to number two. Well, we have not yet found anything super cool except no, for the nose. we went to Walgreens to find a bathroom and we scored on a nose, no, a bill. We scored two, two, three packs of Kodak Ultra Max. So if nothing else, We've got film. And a nose. And a nose to help children. Nose. Be back later. stain on her nose. That's a tin type. That's cool. Are you going to see if I can find that? So Success! We, we just finished in an <laughs> underground flea market and we found some cool things. They sell a lot of fleas there. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of fleas. <laughs> we found one camera. There were, there were more than one camera, but we couldn't leave this baby brownie behind. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute. And it's really clean. Mm -hmm. And the shutter, the shutter fires beautifully. It looks great on the inside. Um, with the little sports finder. It's a 127. It's so cute. And I have too many 127 cameras, but. And you found this ancient pod. I love it so much. This is it's not a camera, it's obviously, just... but it was labeled as a 18th, 18th century. century redware pot. And then, so yeah. <laughs> you don't know my daughter, but she loves history, and so she's excited about that. And then she found and fell in love with some old photos. I love them. So we did just get a little collection. She kind of looks a bit stern, like she's. She looks kind of stern and smart at the same time, if you know what I mean. Let's do it but quicker. And then this is a... Um, tintype? Tintype. And her nose is gone, unfortunately. Her, her nose but. has had... We found two. Well, we found more than two, and these are the ones that we liked. Well, I like this one. <laughs> and then... Look at this beard. It's so weird. Isn't it just crazy? He looks cool. <laughs> just like... <laughs> and I really like this one. Doggy. A man with his dog in the woods. Another one. And this is actually a postcard, which is really interesting. It doesn't actually say where they're, like, um, well, this one doesn't say, but. Yeah, it says Nashua, New Hampshire. So this is. Don't put your fingers on the photos. But there are some of them that actually say where they were taking, where they were taking and stuff like that, so 
Yeah, I'm really excited for these. So that was really cool. And then I found, um, I don't think I can turn my camera. I found this old Polaroid land camera case for $5 and it's full of land camera accessories. I don't have a land camera and I, I believe you can't get film for them anyways, but it had in it Pretty cool, huh? Um, little filters, three filters, and then this is a little um, close-up lens kit. And sorry, we don't know how to make videos. It's really cute. So maybe if I find somebody who has one of these cameras, they might want the contents of this kit. Um, I don't have use for it. A big Polaroid flash and some bulbs and I do have a land camera. It's a camera and another it's not filter. In the it's on land, so so I've got some stuff inside here that I don't. I'm not gonna keep. I don't have a camera for it. I have a land camera because my cameras, all of my cameras, which is the whole one, is it's on land. It's not in the ocean yeah. or anywhere. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to continue on with our day.